So, I went to New York Comic Con today on Thursday, October 5th, 2017, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you a little bit about uh, my experience. It's mainly gaming focused, uh, but it's really cool. I got a lot of uh, neat things to show you, an interview that I did, um, so yeah, here we go. So I'm here at New York Comic Con 2017. I figured I'd stop by and check out some of the cool gaming stuff. So come on, let's go take a look. So as you probably suspected, this is the reason why I wanted to come. Uh, so Koji Igarashi was scheduled to appear, and he did. But, but, but first I got in a little bit of Bloodstained action. I checked out the game. Uh, this is the E3 build that it's based on, and uh, you know, with a fresh coat of paint. Looks really great uh, graphically, and gameplay-wise, it's super tight. Um, so, yeah, I, I got to meet Koji Igarashi, and it was really fantastic. He was, you know, uh, didn't really understand much English, but he was very nice. And uh, the really cool thing is that I was able to interview him. Now, I was not prepared to interview him. I didn't know I was going to be interviewing him, so I did not bring any audio or uh, video recording equipment. Uh, this interview was audio only uh, so just uh, I, I want to preface this uh, heavily and let everybody know that uh, you know I do apologize about the poor quality uh, but you know hey uh, I was working with what what I could get so I came up with a couple quick questions and uh, take a take a listen first off just wanted to say I'm, I'm a huge huge Castlevania fan uh, I've been playing Castlevania since uh, Simon's Quest uh, back in like 1988 and uh, just followed the franchise, my favorite franchise. Um, I had a few questions, the first of which is um, how are you looking at level design differently in this game as opposed to uh, other uh, games like Symphony of the Night and you know, other Igavania games? あの、あの、以前のアトマジョンのシリーズに対してどういう風にあの変わったか変わっているところとかありますか。レベルデザインとか。So um, the level design generally stays um, very close to the previous Castlevania games, but this time we have a lot of new abilities, new um, kind of features where for the characters, so that um, each different levels are kind of designed based off of those abilities. So um, we adjusted for those, but in general, we have we kept the same level designs and like similar level designs. Um, and then, um, the Castlevania games, when brought over to the United States, typically there's a lot of mistranslations, which actually become uh, a lot of fan favorites, things like the Graveyard Duck uh, from Simon's Quest, and, um, you know, uh, uh, What is a Man, you know, all the kind of campy uh, but fun things that, that that kind of the series is well known for. Is there going to be a lot of that throughout the series as far as uh, uh, Bloodstain goes? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
あんまりあんまり良くないってやっぱり言われてたわけですよでえっ、ー、と最近は多分そこから先のシリーズってそこまでひどい役はないと思っていてえっ、ー、と悔しいんであの変だとか言われるのはでなるべくそういうのは逆にほら狙ってやれるもんでもないんでそういうのってなのでまあたまたま生まれればいいと思うしその生まれないにしてもちゃんとしたあの婚約をするっていうのはあのまあ今やらなきゃいけないことだしこれからも先でやることだろうなと思います。Regarding、uh, Mishuri Yamane and the work that she's doing on the soundtrack, as well as、uh, I know Jake Kaufman is doing a, a, a song on the soundtrack as well,、um, is, is there any particular song that you wanted to have、uh, Jake Kaufman do、uh, to, to kind of make the sounds,、uh, sounds similar to、uh, Yamane's work, or are you kind of just、uh, directing?、Um, Uh, Kaufman to kind of have at it. その方向にその方向に寄せてくれるのであんまりその、えー、ともちろんその作家性はあの重視するんだけれども、えー、と気を使ってくれるのでそっちの方向にみんなこういい感じに集まってるようなイメージです。Question that I have is、um, uh, this this art is fantastic. Mana does a fantastic job, really good.、Um, a lot of the fans on the Bloodstain e d forums are, are going crazy over this art. Is there is there any way that this art can be made part of the final product, or is that kind of you know, I don't want to reach out of bounds, of course, but、uh, the fans really do appreciate this kind of. Level of detail, not to take away from the other artists, but、uh, this specifically, this style seems to be uh, really, um, you know,、uh, kind of lighting a fire under the fans. <laughs> このコミコンのために用意したものなので、えっとえっと、あんまり考えてなかったんですけどあの評判が良いのであればそのままファイナルにしてもいいかなと思うんですけどこれを書いた人はですね別の仕事を持ってましてですね<笑>あのその時間が取れるかどうかわからないのでそこも加味しながらちょっと考える必要があるかなと思います。So,、um, this artwork was、uh, made specifically for New York Comic Con, so、um, we, didn't, we weren't expecting to kind of like, use 
um, you know, my work uh, sure. um, for, for this uh, convention, but I, I just so happen to have time uh, during during this time and be able to make an artwork for Comic Con. But, um, well, uh, he says that I'm thinking about it, uh, but at the same time, uh, since I have a, a, another job uh, as a communication manager, um, we don't know if it uh, leaves some time for you know, making a new artworks. So right, we'll, right. we'll think about that, but if, if um, the fans really like it, um, we're, we're definitely considering it. Very cool. Awesome. So that was the interview. I uh, hope you guys dig it. Um, so this is first four figures booth. Uh, they've really upped their game over the years. Uh, here's a zero statue, um, solid snake, which looks really fantastic. There's a Taki statue. She looks gorgeous. That that's such a great figure. I'd, the statue. I'd love to have that. Um, there's also an Alucard statue. There was a Guts Berserk statue as well, which you caught a quick glimpse of. Um, and then Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, and um, not seeing that last one. This is Capcom's booth. Um, they really didn't have that much going on. They had a Yoshinori Ono, I believe his name is, the producer for Street Fighter V. They're doing signings. Uh, this was Resident Evil Revelations Collection, uh, which is coming out in the near future. Looks pretty cool. I mean, I've only played the first one. And then on the other side, they had Street Fighter V uh, going, which may or may not be the uh, arcade edition that they've recently re uh, announced, or there's rumors that they're coming out with Resident uh, with with that. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, they had a really cool statue there. There's me at the Konami booth just shaking my head. I'm just like, really? All they had there was Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Like, no games. They literally had no games. Uh, this is the Square Enix booth. Uh, this place was hopping. They had a lot of really cool stuff, and they had this thing where if you fill out your email and everything, uh, if you're like a Square Enix member, you get a uh, choke, like a Final Fantasy uh, lanyard. And uh, when, you, when you entered in the information, a little sound effect would play. It'd be like, da -da 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 which I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, here's uh, Dissidia NT, which is coming out next year, I believe. You know, Dissidia NT looks great. I, I really want them to announce more characters. This is Secret of Mana. This was the uh, upcoming remaster or remake. I guess you could say of Secret of Mana, which looks really pretty. I mean, for a re for a retro remake, it looks really cool. So uh, I was actually, as somebody who doesn't who owns Secret of Mana and still hasn't played it, um, I really need to get on that. I, I thought it was impressive. Anyways, King of Fighters and uh, some really cool Mortal Kombat figures, which I thought were pretty neat. There's one with Reptile's head like bust busted open, and um, then there's this uh, cool Chun-Li, like, standee thing, which they had more figures there, but I, I don't know, I, I couldn't really make them out. Um, there were a lot of them. Uh, that was uh, Tara, Tara Bradford, I believe her name is, from Final Fantasy VI, uh, and then Lightning and Sid from Final Fantasy XIII and Seven, uh, and then that looks like Zack uh, from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, this is the uh, Bandai Namco uh, setup, which I really didn't find that much there that looked cool. Uh, Code Vein looked pretty neat. Uh, Nino Kuni, I was kind of like, meh. I, I don't know. I haven't played any of them, so I don't know. Uh, this was the Dragon Ball Z fighting game. Uh, looked pretty cool. Um, looks pretty, pretty, you know, pretty awesome. And the graphics are great. This is Rogue Trooper Redux, which is a remake of uh, Rogue Trooper, which is pretty cool. Well guys, that's it for me. I am exhausted, so I am going to head home. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And again, like the video, subscribe, you know the drill.